Okay, so here in lesson number seven, I want to show you a couple of different things. Uh, first, let me give you a little groove that we're going to do with some chords. And, uh, you know, I'll, sh I'll have you uh, using a minor third interval. So what we'll do is this. We'll start on C in your left hand for the bass, and then we'll go up a minor third from there. So that's going to put us on the E flat. Remember, a minor third is one and a half steps, okay? So for my bass line, let me take it down here an octave. And uh, what I'll actually do is the bass line will be like this. So it's like one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now with the right hand, I'm going to play this chord here. Now, if you take a look at everything together, this actually ends up being a C minor seventh chord. Okay, I have it voiced a little differently. What I'm doing in the right hand is I'm playing uh, the B flat, E flat, and the G. Okay, so what you might uh, notice is that this is actually the same thing as an E flat chord. So this is one way that you can actually apply the intervals. If I want to play a C minor seven chord, we know that a C minor seventh chord is an E flat chord over a C. Okay, so technically, if you look at this, you have a major chord over your root C. So one way of looking at this is if we take any note and we play the major chord a minor third above, that gives us a minor seventh chord based on the root. Here's what I mean by that. So with E flat over C, that gives me a C minor seven. If I start here on F and I go up a minor third, remember a minor third is a step and a half, it's gonna put me on the A flat, and I play an A flat major chord. In the right hand, that gives me an F minor seven. If I go to G and I go up a minor third, which is gonna put me at B flat, play a B flat major chord, that gives me a G minor seven chord. Okay, so I'll actually get more into detail on that in my uh, full course that will be coming out soon, and I'll notify you of that when it happens. So anyway, here's what I want to do. Right hand, I'm going to be playing this. So C uh, or E flat major chord inverted over C in the left hand. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, one, two, three, four. And then I'm actually going to go to the E flat. When I go to the E flat, here's what I'm going to play. I'm going to play that in the right hand. Okay? A flat, D flat, and F. You might recognize that as a D flat chord. Okay? This kind of chord here gives us what's called an 11th chord. It's this E flat 11th chord. And, uh, you know, I'll go into more details in the uh, full uh, course. So, anyway, here's what it sounds like. So, one, two, one, two, three, four. Go up a minor third in the bass. I'll do it again. Back to the minor or C. Up here, minor third. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just doing two bars of each chord. Now I'm going to add something to that chord. So when I finish here, in my left hand for my bass line, I'm going to go down a whole step or down a major second. Okay, we'll just call it a whole step. But, you know, I like to keep things uh, on the easy side. So when I do this, I'm going to actually take my chord in the right hand and go from here. I'm going to move the whole chord down a whole step. Okay, so I'm going to be playing G flat, B, E flat over D flat in the bass. Okay, so here's what the whole groove sounds like. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Let me go here. Two, three, four. Let's go back to the C. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Gonna move down here. Alright, so here's what I did. So when I was here, I moved down the whole step. And if you focus on your left hand, it makes it easier to uh, do everything. So whole step, and then I went to here. Okay, this last chord here, 
is an inflert, inverted B flat chord. So you have B flat D over a C in the bass. Okay, so my left hand goes like this. So it's gonna stay there. It goes up a minor third. It goes down a minor third. So back to where we started. Up a minor third. Down a whole step, and then down a half step. Okay, so technically speaking, when we're here, we go down a major second, then down a minor second. But we'll just say down a whole step, down a half. All right, so one more time. So one, two, one, two, three, four. A minor third and left. Three, four. To the down a minor third. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now we're gonna go down a whole step, down a half. All right, so you can get some really good stuff happening. 